Our story begins on a cold evening in November. After a long day of helping around Stella with her flower shop, ten-year-old Amanda was preparing to make her way home. Finish up, Amanda. It's time to close up. I'm almost done. Amanda was taken in by Aunt Stella after her mother passed away from illness. The two closed the store and began their journey home. <coughs> As they reached the intersection that led them down to their home, they ran into Mr. and Mrs. Sanders at the stoplight. They spoke briefly of their day and said goodbye. Amanda then noticed something different about the house across the street. Aunt Stella, where's Mrs. Carmen? She's probably resting. Mr. Sanders told me she hasn't been feeling very well. Oh no, we should visit her soon. Mrs. Carmen would sit in a rocking chair on the porch and watch the sunset every day. This was the first day she missed in years. As Amanda looked on at the house, she saw something she could not explain. Out of the keyhole of Mrs. Carmen's front door, black smoke began to pour out. It swirled around in front of her door and quickly took an unnatural form. Amanda was now looking at an old woman, donning a black coat and hood. She stood ten feet tall but never seemed to touch the floor. There was no feeling of good or evil from her, only a feeling of one's ultimate end. Aunt Stella, look over there! What's wrong? There's nothing there, Amanda. Now come on. But Amanda stood frozen. She was too frightened to move. Aunt Stella dragged Amanda across the street and began to pass by the old woman. Amanda felt a horrible feeling go through her entire body, and then felt as if she were freezing. Amanda turned and looked behind her to see the figure one more time. It was gone, vanished with no trace. The next morning, Amanda and Ansa left their home to go back to work. As they passed Mrs. Carmen's house, they saw a large black ribbon wrapped around the front of her house. Aunt Stella, why is there a black ribbon on Mrs. Carmen's porch? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Mrs. Carmen, she's... she's gone. That ribbon's there as a sign of mourning for those who passed. Mrs. Carmen must have just died last night. I'm so sorry we didn't get to see her again. Ha 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 ha!